There is bipartisan disbelief and disappointment up at the state capitol today. Republican and Democratic leaders in Hartford are saying the U.S. Senate made a big mistake yesterday. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with reaction to the failure of the federal gun bill. Mark. Hi, Keith and Sonia. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. The Newtown families and their supporters had hoped that their success in changing state law here in Connecticut would provide momentum in Washington, but it didn't work. The vote in the U.S. Senate was witnessed in disbelief at the Connecticut Capitol, where just two weeks ago, Republican leaders worked with Democratic leaders to secure large majorities of votes for state gun laws much tougher than the one rejected by the U.S. Senate yesterday. Going through the process myself here in Connecticut with my colleagues, how difficult it was on very tough issues like uh, banning assault weapons and banning magazines. But one of the things that was not difficult was background checks. Republican State Senator John McKinney, whose district includes Newtown, was also instrumental in getting the Connecticut law passed. I think it would have been a very important moment for the country, uh, for our United States Senate, Republicans and Democrats, to at least agree on a basic background check. And I'm um, disappointed that they were not able to do that. The governor today placed the blame for the loss squarely at the feet of the NRA. There are a whole bunch of people who make a living at telling lies, um, and uh, the NRA is one of them. Malloy and others say that the belief among some that the background check bill would have been the first step toward gun confiscation was fueled by the NRA. The idea that the Senate wouldn't even take up an anti-trafficking uh, uh, law is, is amazing to me. And Malloy says the defeat of that part of the bill in the U.S. Senate is also a blow against fighting street crime in the cities. Trafficking is real. It's killing children on the streets of Connecticut, New York, Philadelphia, Washington. Um, they should all be ashamed of themselves. Malloy, McKinney, and Cafaro urge the Newtown families not to give up. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.